What's up everybody? It's Matt. Uh, and I, I just wanted to make this video to undo some misconceptions about myself, really. Um, I feel like it's crucial for people to understand where I come from in order to appreciate and to, to see where I'm coming from concerning the things I say and the things I do concerning God and ministry. And, uh, you know, I, I just want people to understand. But in all actuality, you know, I find people who I talk to and they hear the way I speak about God, they hear my passion for Christ, and it's almost because of that it seems like they feel that I have been singing hallelujah since the day I was born. It's like I've, I grew up in church, I spent every day in church and, you know, was so focused on God and so, uh, you know, bound by, you know, my parents shoving God down my throat that I never really got a chance to to explore the world and so now that I'm older the only thing I know is Christ and the only thing that I know is God and in all actuality that's not the case not it's not even close um, I don't you know I, I don't really have the desire to put everything out there about who I was but I will put a lot and I will say that when you see when you see this guy talking about God when you see you know, the person you're looking at right now, the person you're listening to is a guy who has tried so many different drugs out there. Most people can't even relate. Even the people who are you know committed to a party lifestyle and stuff like that, they can't even relate. Uh, I've done so many things that a lot of people who don't even know Christ wouldn't even consider doing. I mean, from from stealing to partying to just straight drugging to, I, 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 you're looking at somebody who really didn't care about what you or anybody else thought about my lifestyle, but at the same time, I was going to church on Sundays because, you know, I was kind of supposed to, or I was kind of forced to by my parents, they were going, so I had to go, but I'm not some, I'm not, I'm not a person, or I'm not a guy who has always been in God, and so... I'm now at a point where it's all I know and it's all I seem to talk about and it's only my focus. This happened because God literally came through and changed my life. Um, and I say it's God because of the experiences that I've had. Um, what God has done in my life has made it to where there's nothing that anybody could tell me to, to cause me to believe that there is not a God and that Jesus Christ isn't a saver of a man's life. That he isn't the, 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 a, a savior. Uh, from being delivered from smoking weed and, and smoking cigarettes to, and that, that, that's, you know, that's, that's just a, a very small portion of what I've been delivered from. Uh, from, you know, being, you know, having a perverted mind to just being selfish and, and, and never really considering other people's feelings to, yeah, there's just so many things that God has delivered me from. And so, when you hear me talking about God, you, the passion you hear in my voice is, is, is coming from a place that, that is just grateful for what God has done for me. Because while I was in the world, while I was doing what I was doing, and I, I, I was in the world way longer than I've been in Christ. I mean, you're looking at somebody who's like three or four years deep in this thing. Uh, but I was doing crap a lot longer than that, uh, you know, throughout high school and, you know, the, you know, the, the little while that I did college and after college. Uh, the, the passion just comes from what God has done for me, man. And, you know, it's only going to get stronger because the more I look at my past, the more I, I look in the rearview mirror, I see how far God has brought me and I see what he's done for me. And what he can do for a person just simply through personal experience. It didn't just come from me reading the Bible. It didn't just come from me, you know, uh, listening to sermons on TV or something like that. It, yes, it, a large part of it came from reading God's word. And the largest part of it, which includes reading God's word, is just pursuing a relationship with God and, 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 considering, and considering what I was doing to myself and what I was doing to the people around me. I, I I gave my mother so much crap by the way I live. I scared her in so many different ways because of the path that I chose, because of the things that I was doing, the decisions I was making. 
I gave my mother hell. Uh, and so I just, I don't want anybody to take it when they, you know, when they see these posts, when I, whether I post a scripture or a video about something or, I'm not, I'm not somebody who's, who hasn't, who hasn't been there. I'm not somebody who hasn't done the world. I'm not somebody who hasn't literally had an intimate relationship with the world and all that it has to offer. Whether it be through money, whether it be through drugs and partying, whether it be through sex and relationships, I have been, I've dabbled in it all and found found myself to get quite deep into it actually, to where I was a leader in that thing. And the thing I didn't realize is that I was a leader created by God, but I wasn't using it for the right purposes. So I was a leader in everything that I did wrong, everything that I participated in in the world, I ended up being a ringleader in those areas. Um, not that I was anything huge or anything like that. Like I wasn't like, you know, like it's not like my friends followed my orders or anything like that. I was just with them and we all, you know, made our own decisions and stuff like that. But compared to some of the other people who were dabbling and partying and stuff like that, when I say leader, I mean, I always took it to the extreme. I always went farther than it needed to go and went past what most people were willing to do just because that, that was just me. Um, and so I, I developed a lot of addictions and, and stuff like that. But you're looking for, at somebody who's been delivered. And that's just the point I want to get across. You're looking at somebody who has been completely set free from stuff. And it, the reason I appreciate what God has done what God has done for me is because I've, I, I have been in a place that, needed to be, that I needed to be delivered from. I had a lot that I was dealing with that I needed to be set free from. I, I wasn't just set free from cursing <laughs> or, or something like that. That was a part of it, obviously. You know, I used to curse like a sailor, but I, I, I lived in a completely different valley. I, I, I lived and had my being in a completely different world than a, a lot of people. That was very dark. That was very self-centered. That was very um, life-threatening. Uh, I shouldn't be here today. I know that much. I prob I should be locked up for a very long time for what I did. The many things that I did. I mean, I used to break a law every day, with, and it was like the norm. And I'm, I, I, a lot of people I might see this video and, and, and assume that I'm just making stuff up so that you guys take me more seriously when I talk about God. But I, I really don't, you don't have to believe me. I'm not saying this because... Uh, because I know that everybody's going to believe me. You don't have to believe everything I'm saying. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't change where I've come from. It doesn't change anything, whether you believe it or not. It's just like, it doesn't, God doesn't disappear because people don't believe in him. So, But I, just, I really just want people to know. I want you to know where I'm coming from, why I'm so passionate, why I'm going where I'm going, why I fight for God the way I do, why I love God the way I do. Uh, and why I desire to be closer to him every day, why I desire for him to continue to mold me and shape me, and why I desire for other people to be set free. It's because God has freed me and delivered me from a whole lot of stuff. I'm not this goody two-shoes who's always, you know what I mean, who's always been, you know, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. That wasn't even close. I really didn't want to hear about God because my life was completely contradictory from every word that was in the Bible. So, um, you know, if you have any questions about, you know, things that have to do with, you know, addictions or perversion or whatever it is, I am somebody that you can ask about those things. I believe that God allowed me to go through those things so that I could minister to people who are struggling in those areas. Uh, and I've seen that, you know, come to pass, you know, so I, I just thank everybody who's been with me and supports me and loves me for who I am and who I've become. Uh, and it's happy for me that I have found Christ and have stopped doing the things that I, I used to do. I lost a lot of friends when I stopped doing what I was doing. When I start, you know, when I came to Christ, I lost a lot of friends. Uh, but you know, God has allowed me to develop new friends, and I just thank God for all of you who are my friends and my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, and I just, I just, I just pray that people will will consider. You know, when you hear somebody talking about Christ, when you hear somebody talking about God, that you will consider that they have a story, that they have a past that is completely contradictory from where uh, they are now. And that's really how you know it's God, is that there's no evidence of who I used to be. Nobody would ever expect that I used to be uh, a, a, a drug-loving, party-loving, woman-loving, stealing, thieving, don't care, cursing, uh, just bad guy. Nobody would assume that. 
them, you know, even my parents would say, you know, he was a good kid for the most part, but they don't know it all, man, and mom, if you're watching this, you know I love you, but um, I'm just, I, I want everybody to know the truth about my story, I want people to know that it's real, and this whole thing, this, you know, God and Jesus Christ and this walk, it, it is real, it, it, God does really change people's lives, he does, and I, I mean, full circle, full circle, it's not just like a little thing here and there, it's, he makes every he makes all things new. So peace.